In Bechukosai Telechu, if you follow my path, God says, follow my lead. What is that lead? So Rashi explains, Shitiu Amelim Batora. That you have to be Amel, you have to invest yourself in Torah. Then Hashem will give us all of the wonderful things that we want out of life. What is this investing in Torah? What's it really all about? The Baal Shem Tov gave a beautiful, beautiful mashal. He says that there was a man who once walked into a store that was full of delicacies, and he didn't know which one he wanted to eat. So he asked the owner of the store, he said, can I taste? And the owner of the store said, sure, you can taste anything you want. And the man wa- w- walks to one item and says, can I get a taste of this? And the store owner puts in the spoon and gives him a taste. The man says, well, that's delicious. Can I taste this one? And he goes on and on to taste virtually every item in the store. And when he's finished tasting every item, he says to the store owner, you know, I think I'm going to have another taste. And the store owner says to him, hold on a second. I allowed you to taste everything in the store because I want you to buy the product. But only one taste is a taste and is free. Once you want seconds, that's already eating. It's not a taste and you have to pay for it. There are many of times that we hear a Dvar Torah at a Simcha, for example, or we're comforted by the words of Torah at a funeral, for example, and we say to ourselves, that was so full of meaning, it gave me such a good feeling, I wish I could have a little bit more. And what the Torah says to us is, you can have a little bit more, but it's not free. It's going to cost in order to be able to enjoy. Now, this is not an appeal for money, because Hashem's not telling us that we have to invest money in order to learn Torah. What Hashem is saying to us, that in order to learn Torah, in order to be able to invest and get the benefit from Torah, to have the sense of, of quality in our lives, a sense of order in our lives, a sense of excitement, a sense of happiness from learning Torah, it can't just simply be a taste of a Dvar Torah at a Simcha. It has to be a melos, it has to be investment. It has to be an investment on a regular basis to go to a shear that's being given at the shul, or to listen to a Dvar Torah on a regular basis, or to open up a chumash and to learn a chumash with the English translation and Rashi when on the way to work, or to listen to a Torah shear when on the train and traveling. It's about investing on a regular basis, and if we invest on a regular basis, then we'll truly enjoy, we'll truly understand, we will fathom what it means to have Torah in our lives. You know, this period of time right now, of course, we're in Sphira, as I mentioned last week as well, and we've now passed Lagba Omer. We are now looking forward, we're counting up to Shavuos. Shavuos is Matan Torah, the time of the giving of the Torah. It's a time when we accept the Torah anew. And the challenge for us is, what will we be doing this Shavuos? aside from having blintzes and cheesecake, that makes the Torah feel as if we are accepting it anew to us personally. Perhaps we need to commit ourselves starting Shavuos, and even now, in preparation for Shavuos, for a new commitment to studying Torah, to learning Torah on a regular basis, so that we can truly internalize its feeling and what it can do for us in giving a sense of simcha to our lives because, as we're told by Chazal, there is no greater simcha than the learning of Torah. And if we can't understand it, it's only for one reason, because we haven't done it well enough till now. Let us be zochet to make this Shavuos not like any Shavuos before it and prepare our way to make sure that we have a true sense of not simply tasting the Torah like we would a delicacy, but actually buying the product through the time we invest in learning it. Thank you for listening and have a good Shabbos.